Hi everyone, our lesson today is English Language Form 5, Unit 5, Grammar. Please turn to page 63 of your Form 5 textbook. Today, we will learn about the Future Perfect Simple, the Future Perfect Continuous and Temporals. First is the Future Perfect Simple. The form of the Future Perfect Simple is will have plus past participle or for the negative is won't have plus past participle. We use the future perfect simple for something that will be finished by or before a specific time in the future. As an example, he will have finished his report by 5 p.m. today. It means sometime before 5 p.m. today, he will have finished his report. We also use the future perfect simple for something that will be finished by or before another future action occurs. As an example, by the time I get back, she will have gone to bed. We also use the future perfect simple to show the length of time that an action will have lasted for at a point of time in the future. As an example, at the end of this month, I will have been a mechanic here for two years. It means right now I have not worked for two years yet, but at the end of this month, I will. Next, the future perfect continuous. We use it to talk about an action that will continue up to a specific time in the future. The form of the future perfect continuous is will have been plus present participle or would have been plus present participle. As an example, this is the longest flight I've ever taken. By the time we get to London, we will have been flying for 13 hours. Confused? Well, don't be. The future perfect simple describes an action that will end in the future. While the future perfect continuous describes an action that will continue in the future. You can pause the video and read the comic strip to help you picture those two tenses better. Next, temporals. When we use temporals to talk about the future, we use them with the present tense. As an example, after he buys the batteries, he will go home. You do not say after he will buy the batteries. We use temporals with a present perfect tense to emphasize that the first action will be finished before the other one starts. As an example, We'll start the party once everyone has arrived. So for this sentence, the first action is everyone has arrived. The second action is we'll start the meeting. To help you understand this better, why don't we try to answer task 3, number 1 and 2. Number 1, by the end of this century, the planet will have become more polluted. We use the future perfect simple because at some point before the end of this century, the planet will have become more polluted. Number two, by the end of this century, we will have been cutting down trees in the rainforest for more than two centuries. We use the future perfect continuous because at the end of this century, we will still be cutting down trees. 
you can click a link in the description below to answer the rest of the questions. That's all. Bye! Thank you.